Today we're running Queen of Tides Hell Stage 1. This team can actually do Hell Stage 1 and 2. Let's get into it. Welcome everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Bear Cozy. To save time for this run, that is my intro while we run Hell Stage 1. And I've actually been able to clear Hell Stage 2, which is awesome. And right now, as you can see, Zatlux is doing work. And where it used to fall apart was right here. Because Yolanda actually used to go after Zatlux and his bonus turn would not work. But now that... But now, thanks to a couple of my friends, as well as a few friends on YouTube, some viewers as well, uh, they've reached out to me, they've left me messages, I've gotten a couple of DMs saying, hey, fix your turn order because your Yolanda is going after Zetlux and that's what's killing your team. And actually, <laughs> one of them actually reached out to me and said, hey, uh, I know you're struggling in Hell Stage 1. I borrowed your Zatlux and not only did I clear Hell Stage 1, but I've also cleared Hell Stage 2 with your Zatlux. So you should be able to do it. So since then, I have taken their advice and I have actually adjusted my turn order. Now, during editing, I'll put up the stats, of course, before and after, if I remember correctly. I usually try to put up all of their stats. Sometimes when I'm pressed for time, I forget. But uh, right now, this is working out really well. And what I did, the turn order right now is Yolanda, Gangelo, Santos, and Zalux. Now, Zalux is stacked to 70. You don't need him to be 70, and you don't need the stats that I have. And I am not by any means bragging. I have seen much better stats than my Zatlux. But for me, in my opinion, I'm doing pretty well. I am very happy with him. I did not think I would be able to get him to the stats that he has. Now, let's watch the Queen of Tides get healed all the way up. <laughs> and uh, right now, I'm pushing my luck a little bit. I am focusing solely on her. I should probably kill the ad on the right, but I am experimenting to see what's faster and what I can get away with. It gets a little close, it gets a little hairy, but um, I feel like some of their uh, stats are not great. Yolanda, I geared and left a long time ago. Santos, I geared and left a long time ago. Gangalo, I actually just re-geared because I was running Hell Stage 3. I came very close to completing it, and um, you don't need as much stats on uh, Gangalo. I forgot his name. You don't need that, that many stats on Gangalo. I just took him out of Speed Boots, and I believe I put him in one vanguard set and a revival set so as you can see he's staying up all the way because he's got a bunch of defense on him and he's tanky to begin with and i figured before i redo yolanda before i regear yolanda and before i regear santas i should probably make a hell stage one video because you don't need the crazy stats that i have been putting on my heroes and these are not crazy stats by any means for me they are advanced and it all depends on how progressed you are in your account right so let's go ahead and take a look at their stats. Let's take a look at their gear. I don't want to make this video too long, so let's jump into it. Now, let's start with Zatlux, since he is the main ingredient here. Right now, Zatlux in three warrior sets. That is kind of, uh, that is a little bit lucky um, for me. I did not think I would be able to get him in three warrior sets. I have tried many, many times, and I couldn't do it. And right now, I did okay. And as you can see, there is no legendary gear whatsoever. Crit damage ring attack necklace as it should be and attack percentage boots right triple speed roll which is awesome looking at his stats one more time he is 161 speed because he is level 70 before level 70 he was at 156 and that was pretty good he's still missing one ascension and then uh, of course books he has no books at all i have not booked anybody now go on over to gangalo gangalo is level 60 like i said you do not need zatlux to be level 70 uh, Gangalo is level 60. I have cleared it with everybody on 60. The only change I did on Gangalo is I just got him out of speed boots into health percentage boots, and I did actually put him in a Vanguard set, Vanguard and Revival. I got lucky. I pulled a ring. As you can see, it's 12. The rolls are kind of crappy except for one defense roll there. Uh, the rest of them are crappy. And then I ended up putting him in a Vanguard chest plate to try and get a little bit more defense on him because he was dying in Hell Stage 3. And as you can see, 1,700 defense. Not a ton, but pretty good. 26k HP, so I feel like he's doing pretty good there. And yes, he is ascended four times, and most of those were potions. Now, moving on to Santas. Santas, I got a long time ago. I fused her, and uh, I actually ended up using potions on her because I was having a hard time clearing Queen of Tides 11 and 12. Santas, if we look at her gear... 
Uh, her defense is 1,400. Her health is 19,000, almost 20. Nothing spectacular. And if we look at her sets, she's in a revival set. That is what helps to keep them alive. Revival is very, very strong in these dungeons. So if you are struggling, try to put them in revival sets. And if you look at their gear, look at this. Raptor Ring, level 9. Rolled Attack, Defense Focus. Rolled okay, not great. Raptor Pendant, blue, 5-star. Focus, level 12. I have to re-gear her. The only decent uh, thing here is <laughs> they are 6-star health boots, and they got focus on them. The rest is kind of crappy. I have to re-gear her pretty much all of it. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get her out of this Raptor stuff and maybe into some Vanguard. Right now, I don't really have any um, Vanguard gear rolled up. I need to roll up. Her focus is probably too high. 132 should be right on the money, but I am going to try to take her out of the Raptor set um, and into a Vanguard set because her defense is low. I'd like to get her health and her defense up a little bit. She, it gets really, really hairy with her dying. And then if we go to Yolanda. Now, before you say, man, Barry, you're so lucky you got Yolanda. I don't have her. Here's what I did with Yolanda. I was just talking to my friend about Yolanda, how I got her, and I encourage the rest of you to do the same. This is how I got her. If you go to the bartender from your main screen, click on Guild Vault in the top left, and then go to Yolanda, go ahead and use the guild tokens to get Yolanda. Yes, it does take a while. I think it took me two and a half, three months, something like that. But all you need to do it is once. It's a little bit of a sacrifice, so you need to commit to the end but every week you can buy one of her and in 10 weeks you should be able to get her. So it took me about uh, 10 weeks to get her, but you can do it. If you stick to it, you can do it. Every single week you can buy her uh, matrixes and there's 10 at a time. You do need 100, so keep that in mind. And I've made videos. I've actually, every time I made a video, every time I made a progression video, I actually bought those on camera or I tried to. And then those go right into your backpack and then you can go right to Hero Matrix and then um, summon her, and you do need 100 of her, as you can see, and I'm not going to do any more. Going back to Yolanda now, if we go ahead and look at her stats, her stats are pretty low. She is 167 speed, probably in uh, speed boots, because I got Zalux. I focused on Zalux and Nathalia. Those were my main two heroes that I focused on. I got them good, and then when my friends told me that Yolanda needed to be faster than Zatlix, not slower, that's what was throwing off my team comp, and that's what was failing the run, I ended up making her a little bit faster. So as you could see, 20k HP, 1500 defense, not really a lot. There's not really much going on there. If we look at her gear, again, she's in a Raider set, and these are probably, these are actually health boots, 5 star. Crappy, right? Level 12, so she doesn't need an overhaul. Level 12, level 12, level 6, level 9, level 9. So I just, when I got her, I threw some gear in her to try and get her into Queen of Tides, uh, Hell Stage 1, and then of course I started failing and I forgot all about her. So there is lots of improvement here. I could probably steal Brand's gear if I wanted to, and if we borrow Brand's gear, if I saved it, I don't know if I saved it, I probably didn't unused unused and as you can see i've experimented with lots of different gear sets i've saved them nathalia santa's sets and uh, lots of different things and at this point i can probably use flarence as you can see she is wearing blackhorn's gear because blackhorn is sharing his gear with all the healers that was originally rodira's gear that got upgraded and uh that is what's happening so if i use flarence's gear as you can see the defense goes up quite a bit the health goes up a lot so that would be a lot better for her. She does go to 166. I believe she needs to be a little bit faster than Zatlux, but her gear is really not that great. Now, she does need to be faster than Zatlux. When I upgraded Zatlux, he did gain five speed. I think he's at 161, so that would actually work. So this is definitely an option for me. I can use Flarence's gear or I can use somebody else's. I can find something else and this would work. And I will encourage you to go ahead and get the Yolanda Matrixes. She is 100% worth it because as I said, my team can actually clear Hell Stage 1 and 2. It fails in 3, but now I see why it's failing. If you look at the gear, this is laughable and I almost cleared 3. So after I re-gear them, I will most likely clear Hell Stage 3, and I wanted to make this video because I didn't want to re-gear them 
and I did not want to make them Hell Stage 3 and 4 worthy with all of the new gear and then go back and make a Hell, Hell Stage 1 video because you really don't need that much gear. You don't need that many stats and your gear doesn't need to be that great as you can see here. However, your Zetlux does need to work. He does need to work. If your Zetlux doesn't do enough damage, you do need Hackrid. So with that said, feel free to borrow my Zetlux. I do have my Zetlux as a support hero. Feel free to borrow him. You should be able to clear Hell Stage 1 and 2 with him. He is very, very good in my opinion. You've seen all of his stats, and I showed you exactly how I did it. I don't want to make this video any longer, so do me a huge favor. Hit the like and the subscribe button down below. Also, leave me a nice comment. I read all of your comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. That's going to do it for this video, and for more videos like this, check out the top right.